omakashi, which is traditional Japanese sweets. And I am very excited about this because Simon and I were saying how it feels kind of like when we first arrived in Korea and we didn't know what the heck we were eating. Some of the things we might love and some of the things we might hate, and I'm not gonna be able to teach you what all these things are right now, but we're just gonna have a good time diving in and trying everything. We literally went to the shop and got one of everything available for science, for you guys. Science! Science! Okay, so our original plan was to go to this place that we found online that had great reviews, been around since 1953, and we're super excited to try all this stuff. But turns out that their indoor sitting was kind of closed. So we took all the stuff, we got on our bikes, and we went to the park. We're right beside the Ghibli Museum, which is right there. So we're just gonna sit here at a table and we're just gonna enjoy some sweets. And I'm gonna look at all the puppies. It smells like warm waffles. Tennis balls, and, and, freshly uh, cut grass, uh, what is that? Mm, plum, mm, 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 raspberries. Raspberry. Comes from France. Mm, burgundy. burgundy. 1923. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the Chateau Mont Blanc. Salvador. 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 Ah, yes. Yeah. Ah, yes. Uh, now we have had taiyaki before, but every taiyaki is a little bit different, and uh, this one actually looks more whole grainy. To yeah, me for this some looks reason. a lot naturaler. Naturaler. <laughs> Words because by Simon. It's a fish. <laughs> fish looking so more natural. naturaler. Ready? Mm. Mm. That is the thinnest crust mm -hmm. I've ever had on taiyaki. This is more like a waffle. Yeah, and it still has that like chewy texture to it, that like mm -hmm. mochi mochi. That's a word I'm really loving in Japan now. Mm. What was it? Mochi mochi, fwa fwa. I've actually honestly never had an outside like this before because most taiyaki places have a batter. Yeah. So when you eat it, it tastes like cakey. This one is much more like a thin cracker or waffle. This tastes like it has rice flour in it. Mm. That's why it has that like chewiness to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, this table was super great. I give it a rating of 8 out of 10. Yep. Now that the sun has come out, I give it a strong 2 out of 10. I got the one side of Blinky. <laughs> I don't want to do my best pirate impersonation for the rest of the video. Let's go to another table. We're going to move to another table. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh yes, this table, better table. This day thinks it can break us. No. This day wants us to give up. It we're wants not us, giving we're up. We're not giving up until we open this bag and discover everything has melted and then I'm gonna lick it off. Paper. You know what? Nothing can stop us. Nothing can break this day from you me. You think you could stop me from eating candy? You're wrong. Starting with our first one, which we call yellow blob wrapped in leaf. <laughs> so this is the mango flavored something. It had mango and then it had kanji. Um, this leaf came with it. It yeah. is not from the tree and it keeps popping okay. open. Question, do we eat it with the leaf? So I'm going to eat the mango one. You're going to eat the leaf. I don't think that's how it works. No, I don't think you eat it with the leaf. That'd be weird. I'm not a koala bear. Do I Are look you like supposed a koala to eat it with the leaf? You? No, you're supposed yeah. to eat it with the leaf. You can eat the leaf. You eat the leaf. No. You eat the leaf. I'll be part of Rock, it. Paper, I don't leaf. want the leaf. Okay, let's just bite into this. Okay. Aww. It's actually firmer than I expected it to be. That is what she said. I expected this to be quite um, like mochi sticky, but it's actually almost like gelatinous. Oh yeah, it is a little jelly-like. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be great. Are you ready? Give it a half bite. Don't give a full bite or I'll kill you. I have to bike all the way back to that place. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm trusting you. No, you do it. Mmm, that's all just like mango infused magic. It's like mango mashed potatoes. Mango, there you go, Simon Stosky, dessert descriptor of the year. Do you like mashed potatoes and do you like mango? Imagine mashing mango into your potatoes. You're not really selling this dessert. Eat it and tell me it's not mango mashed potatoes. I will. Mm. Think of mango. Is this a dessert pierogi? And then think of mashed potatoes. Do you see it? No, I don't. Mashed potatoes are savory. These are completely smooth. This tastes like one of those sweet white beans, maybe. I think it's white beans. Mashed with mango. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so smooth. And on the outside here, there's a kind of clear jelly that I expected to be tough. You go right through it with your and teeth. And it's just like mango juice jello. You cannot be a dessert descriptor. Of course I can. Mango juice jello. Mm -mm. Do you like jello and mango juice? <laughs> Cover that with mashed potato mango. So I realized we made a mistake for the last scene that we filmed in which we only had one and we had to wait for the other person to That's eat. That's crazy time. And I don't want to wait for anybody to eat. So no. we're going to have two this time. There's something I find so magical about eating things wrapped in leaves. Well, you know what I think is great about this? This wrapping is as biodegradable as you get. Mm. You could literally litter and nobody would tell because Look. this whole thing is leaves. Guess what I'm going to do? Ready? Ready for this? Did Please we just litter on me. camera? Does that count as littering or does no. that count as contributing to the environment? Whoa, what is that? That's really so juicy. speckly and awesome. I think mine is the mango one without the mango. The traditional red bean the one. The traditional red bean one. Let's take a bite. How do I, with the reeds, feel like I'm part of an ancient time. You know what this tastes like when you first jump into a lake? and you get that freshness of like water around you. 
this has a taste of when face you Face planting in a lake? Not face planting, jumping into a lake. Something about this tastes so clean. I like, do not know what I just consumed. No, okay, These trade. are soft, trade. these are soft. Mm -hmm. This outside area tastes like, you're like, oh, it must be green tea. And then you're like, that's not green tea. No. It's like another leaf and it tastes like a chlorophyll freshness. And I'm it's telling like, you, there's a freshness oh, in here. It no. tastes like a lake. Eat the lake. No, I'm not eating Eat the your lake. lake. Eat the lake. I'm not eating your diarrhea Eat the lake. lake. It's not a diarrhea. I didn't poop in the lake yet. You don't have to poop in the lake for it to be diarrhea lake, Simon. Okay, mm. now before you try this, I want you to close your eyes and imagine that you're at a cottage, all right? And you're about to jump into a lake. Taste it like, taste it like. It's a lake, isn't it? You see how fluffy it is? It's like marshmallow fluff. Mine's the lake, right? No. What? The difference is. Yours definitely tastes like chlorophyllly. Yeah, mine, yeah. the outside layer, I thought it was going to be mochi, like pounded rice. Yeah. But it's actually more like a marshmallow texture. Yeah. Like, you know when you might microwave a marshmallow or heat it up in the stove and it has like that aerated fluff? Mm. Right? I don't know what that is. No, I haven't had any mochi that tastes like this no. before. No. And the outside layer of this one is like this thin jelly. And it's transparent and it just like, it tastes like a lake. I totally disagree with you on the lake thing, but... You've never swam in a lake, probably. Man, this is weird. I don't know what to say to that. It doesn't necessarily taste bad. And now. Mm. Be free. Did you ever Hi. hear the wolf cry to the blue bird man? Or ask the grinning mean cat why he grins? Hey, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese please show up on bicycles or gigantic dogs. <gasps> this one is really pretty. Like, it's a perfect cube and it's got like little pineapple, pineapple in there. That I don't know what that gorgeous. is. It's almost like a passion fruit. I'm going to be eating what I've nicknamed the big turd. Whoa, look at that. That's a big <laughs> That's old, a big old turd. turd right there. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's not turd. That's great. Mm. That's like a can of fruit. That looks great. What is it? Childhood. Oh my god! Flashback! Flashback! Mrs. Mrs. Tomato! <laughs> Mickey and Mio! Mickey and Mio! <laughs> Mrs. Tomato served up these little tiny balls covered in what I thought was turd. Mm -hmm. And when you bit inside of it, it was almost like a tapioca rice on the inside. This is that. I remember as a kid being like, this can't be dessert because it tasted really um, savorier than we're used to. Mm -hmm. Like our North American taste buds definitely like sweeter things. Yeah. And when you have like Japanese and Korean traditional desserts, it's not as sugary as what yeah. I find. This looks so awesome. You're definitely gonna get more of the inside though, because I bit off all the outside Good. turd. What, when what you're was that? Chicken dinner. What the? Oh. Mmm. This has to be my least favorite one. This tastes like fermented stuff. This tastes like fruit cake. When you have fruit cake and the fruit has gone to that fermented stage where the pineapple and the cherries and mm -hmm. all the fruit on the inside have that alcohol flavor to them, mm -hmm. that's what this tastes like. Do you taste the coconutty I kind think, of tapioca? I think I just realized I like red beans now. I actually thoroughly enjoy mm -hmm. eating red beans. We've been for changed. Dessert. Also, not all red beans are alike. We've had red bean stuff in Taiwan, mm -hmm. in Korea, in Japan. Mm -hmm. All the red beans of different Asian countries are mm -hmm. different. Do you want another bite of this? No, because I'm saving room for my dango. Okay. Oh, yeah. And next up is the dango. 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 Which all I can ever think of is, I think it's Hana Dori Dango. Someone help me here. Hana Yori Dango? I think so. Hannah, you're a dango. I'm just saying. Listen, Hannah, we have issues. Mm. Oh, so we got yeah. four different kinds. Okay, so we got a weird one that we've never tried before, as far as I can remember. You mean the seaweed one? It's covered in seaweed. seaweed. Ooh. I'm going to try the seaweed can one. You first. take the seaweed one out. It smells like this rice dipped in soy sauce. So fresh looking. This smells like a fresh onigiri. Ooh, this is just juicing all over the place. Okay. All right, we're going in for Here it. Go. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. Man. This is fantastic mm. glaze on top. I never know how to explain this because it's basically like, I think it's almost like a reduced soy sauce. And if you think of soy sauce on something sweet, that sounds gross, but mm. it's not. It's almost like a caramel. Yeah. Like a salty caramel, salted caramel. I think what these do a really good mm. job of is oh, of man. giving you the salty and sweet at the same time, kind of like salty mm -hmm. chocolate, mm -hmm. so that all of your tongue mm -hmm. feels excited. These are so incredibly fresh. Okay, let me try yours. Simon just spat, you couldn't see it, and he sprayed. Let me try yours. Is this going to be weird? Maybe. Was it weird? Well, this is the winner. Oh, this, this one's salty. This is great. Mm. Wow. This is not dessert in any way. No. This is like picnic food. Exactly. I feel like you need to sit down here. You need to like pull it out of your picnic basket and have a whole bunch of these. Okay. This one here, you said the onigiri is what it tastes like. Yeah, yeah. They've actually coated it still in a little bit of the sauce as well. Yeah, yeah. And so it's kind of like wrapped up with the seaweed on top of it. So it's savory and then oceany and then salty at the same this time. This is so delightful. Um, like a snack. You didn't want it, did you? Uh, you know you want it at home? Oh, I no, 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 no. Sorry if I look distracted, guys, but we are being slowly circled in by crows. They're circling us, Ducky. Can't have it. Oh my god, there's another one right there. They are very 
like non-verbal, but they're definitely getting their point across. They're just like flexing their giant crow guns. I think we have to leave like a sacrifice of dango for them. Okay, on to the sweet ones. Oh ho. Ooh. So this is a green one covered in a zucchini. Ready paste? Oh, can you hear that in the background? There is some magical flute player happening. Someone's I think playing it's, a jazz flute. I think it's Ron Burgundy. And there's a puppy party happening right behind us. We have to bring Spudgy here. We have to introduce him it's to the It's not just a puppy party, it's an old people puppy party. Yep. It's like old grandmas and grandpas meeting yep. with their dogs. Mm, so mine smells like a sesame seed. Mine smells like beans. You know what this reminds me of? If we were watching Iron Chef, the theme today would be beans. Beans. <laughs> we just have beans on everything. Bean battle. Okay, here I go. This looks a lot like pepper, though. Oh mm. my god. This is a winner. This has that same chlorophyll taste from that other one you had. Mm. Mm. This is the winner. Oh yeah? It's like they put sugar and salt okay. with the sesame. It's like a peanut butter. Oh yeah, that definitely smells like sesame. It tastes like a salted peanut butter bar. Okay, let me try this one. Go for it. Picture, that right there right? is the winner. Salted peanut butter Whoa. bar. That's amazing. Right? The thing that's amazing as well about the mochi, it's like the texture of a marshmallow, except mm. marshmallows, when you bite into them, are very airy. Yeah. There's kind of like that fluff on the inside. These are dense marshmallows. You got some stuff on your lip. Still on your lip. Still. Sweet. Mercy girl. How did you get. You got it. <laughs> we have some up here also now. How in the mercy. Did she get that? I grew my wife because I love her. I'm scared to try this one now because you said it tastes like chlorophyll and that one yeah. is delicious and I don't want that. <gasps> you just hated the whole thing you didn't share. I did share. You had the first piece. I got one of the puppies that's coming closer to us. <gasps> it's the best one. It's the dash puppy. Oh, it's such a pretty boy. <gasps> hello. <gasps> oh, hello. Hello. This you are such a sweet there. puppy. Hello. hello. Puppy. 12 years old. Thank you. Very nice to meet you. Thank Make some exercise and you can have more treats. Yeah, exactly. So on the lose weight. Nice to meet you. Did I mention that this is a magical land? He's doing a little bubble hop. Can come true. So puppy party starts at five. Okay, puppy party starts at five. Okay, he doesn't want to go. I don't even want to film this video anymore. Should we just like book it back home look and get Spudgy? At, look at him not wanting to He's go. He's being dragged. <laughs> <laughs> He's like not angry. Wait, what were uh, we talking about? Okay, um, oh okay, yeah, got mochi, it. Mochi, food, and um, Okay, and I'm gonna ask this, this question. What are desserts like in your country? Traditional okay. desserts. Do you also have things like pounded rice with red bean or is it something totally different? So let mm -hmm. me know in the comment section below. Right. And we don't really know the names of these. So if yeah. you guys can let us know what these are called. We're still learning here. This is yeah. all new to us. Yeah, so let us know what these okay. are. Can I go play with the puppies now? Let's go get our dog. Let's go play Hands with the puppies. Center. Ready? Team, Team Spudgy. Break. Oh, we should oh, oh, let's which do that one again. should we okay. ready? Team, Team Spudgy. Come on, uh, we're supposed we're to get on this the right. Same page okay, here. get this right. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Team, Team Spudgy. Spudgy. All right. Got it.